Valentini's little feather thing. Are you gonna be nice to me? Really? Cause I'm gonna I'm recording you. <laughs> I'm recording you. That's right, I'm recording you. I'm recording you for evidence. For my lawyers. <laughs> I don't have lawyers. <laughs> anyway. I'm recording you, Dad. <laughs> You silly Willie. Oh, see, Sydney was the alpha male. Cuckoo Berry and Ginger were his subjects. <laughs> his subjects. He was a very, he was a very um, loving and compassionate and um, sweet and gentle, and he was not a tyrant in any way. So anyway, but. Uh, um, now that he's gone, um, uh, Ginger, I don't know what's going on, but it's, it gets a little bit rough, because Ginger is getting very, uh, aggressive, I guess, and then, I guess he thinks I'm his mate, anyway, I think so, and cockatoos are very aggressive, with their mates, by the way, if you don't know that, in captivity. I don't know about if that's true in the wild. Oh, and uh, it scares. It's scary. It's uh, it's not a good time right now because I I'm not a professional bird, uh, domestic bird trainer. I, I I used to tame birds, or you know, wild caught birds when I was young. Before it was illegal, and I did. I was very gentle. I was never, you know, I was never. Anyway, African gray is more my. I really seem to excel with the African grays. But anyway, um, cockatoos never really. Uh, it was weird. I never really in my bird experience, I never bonded with the cockatoos, I never really seemed to, and I think now I know, I understand why, they're really sensitive, and I, I was young, and I just needed to survive, I was in survival mode, and I think some of the birds understood that, and so they accepted me, but cockatoos are not like that. Cockatoos are dignified, really highly dignified, and I don't think, well, survival, of course, means something to them, but they're much more sophisticated than just that, and 